And welcome back to the Coliseum Gym uh, Fullerton, the mecca of bodybuilding here in Orange County. This is Milo Shachev for a fit show powered by bodybuilding.com. This is another segment, training segment of Training with Milos, secrets of a pro bodybuilder that's going to take you on another level. We're going to do the quadriceps today, and we'll show you how to develop Olympia size quadriceps. So let's go and do it. We're back in the Coliseum Gym here in Fullerton on another segment for Fit Show powered by bodybuilding.com. A segment today is going to be quadriceps training. Quadriceps is one of the primary muscle groups, very important for competitive bodybuilders. And I want to you know, show you some of the secrets that helped me develop what many uh, experts consider one of the best quads in IBB Pro circuit. Full range of motion is the first thing that I want to emphasize. Partial movement, partial development, full movement, full development. Most of the people, when you come to the gym and you see them do squats, you're going to see a quarter or at the best half movement. If you do the squat, which is the king of all the exercises for quadriceps, you have to go full range of motion. And I'm going to demonstrate here from the angle so you can see what I'm talking about. If you go just parallel to the floor, quadriceps is involved. But if you go all the way down, past the parallel, as far as we can go, we include the hamstring and glutes. But we also stretch quadriceps that, that much more, which give that additional stimulation. So always go all the way down. Now, back needs to be straight, as if you're leaning forward, you're going to have a tremendous pressure on the lower back erectors, which is not physiologically uh, really something that I would recommend. So full range of motion is number one. Second thing is foot positioning. If you look at my feet right now, uh, if I put the weight on the ball of the foot, my quadriceps is going to take most of the work. However, if I go on my heels, you know, hamstring and glutes are going to get more involved. So in any exercise, squats, hack squats, Smith machine, uh, leg presses, anything that we choose to do, it's really where do we push from. If we push from a ball of the foot, we can really focus on the quadricep. Also, foot positioning in sense of feet together would hit a lateralis, outer sweep, part of the quadriceps that gives us that sweep, uh, very important for competition. If we now take the legs apart, feet apart, more stimulation goes in the medialis. And as we continue into so-called duck feet extreme, something that ladies can do much easier than us, but still with flexibility we can reach it too, it moves to the abductors, inner thighs. So this is in here, and here is out. Very important things to think about when we do the exercises. We're going to start with the, uh, basically, king of all the exercises for quads, which is a, a barbell squat. So let's go and do it. And here we are, barbell squats, king of all the exercises for quads. Let's go. Back straight, full range of motion, all the way down, squeeze up, all the way down, squeeze up. I'm going to point out a few mistakes that people do. A lot of people lean forward. Leaning forward would kill your lower back. Very dangerous. Don't do it. Uh, a lot of people just drop down like this without any control. You're going to kill the knees. Don't do it. Everything has to be controlled. All the way down, all the way up. I want to introduce you again to my training partner, Marcelo Carvel, NPC competitor, who's going to demonstrate the uh, uh, barbell squats. Let's go. All the way back. Okay. Points I was trying to make is back completely straight, full range of motion, controlled, squeezing a quadriceps on the way up. Inhale down, controlled, exhale up. As you can see, he's going all the way low, so the stimulation on the quadriceps is uh, great. Hamstring, glutes involved, and a little pressure on the lower back. Okay, let's go a couple more like this. Now, a little tricks that we can do, which is a little advanced method, is we can pause on the bottom. Now, you can do this with a heavy weight, but you can do it with a moderate weight. Go all the way down, pause, complete stop, and then push up. Now, there's also two uh, different ways of doing it. You can do explosive up, 
or we can do it very slow and controlled, almost contracting like we're posing on the stage. So he's going to go slow now, contracting the muscle. See, this is not pushing, it's contracting. Let's do a couple more. Inhale down, exhale up with the back completely straight, and two more. Perfect form. Okay, let's rack it. So this is Bible squats. King of the Agassiz, like I said, for 20 years uh, of my quadriceps training, I would never miss squats. So please do it. Another way of doing a barbell squat is a, a front squat. So instead of putting a barbell behind the neck, we're going to put in front. This uh, is great exercise, uh, excludes lower back. Really, most of the people still lean forward regardless. Now, this position doesn't allow you to lean, so you can't treat even if you want it. You know, we go in front, keeping the balance. And here we go. Because of the position, now you really have to find the balance that you can basically even go like this. I do this sometimes just to teach people. Go straight down, straight up. Okay. Holding the Bible, keeping your elbows up, going slow down all the way. See, back is straight. And this is it. All the way down, straight up. Foot position can be different, so you can keep it close together or wide apart. Okay. Okay. My son is going to demonstrate the front squat. As you can see, due to the position of a Bible, his back has to be absolutely straight, as if he would lean, he would lose it. So even though it's very uncomfortable, it's a great way of teaching proper body positioning here. Uh, all the way down. Full range of motion. Straight up. Now he can do it with a pause. Keeping the quadriceps absolutely contracted. Tight and then explode up. You can do slow down. Explosive up for power. Or you can do slow down. With a just contraction moving him up which is the way I like to do most of the time. Foot can be uh, close together. Yep. And that would hit more outer sweep. And one more. OK, wrap it. Get back in the quad training. I'm going to show you a second best exercise besides squats, which is lunge. It's for overall quadriceps development. It includes hamstrings and glutes as well. In particular, I like to do uh, lunges many different ways. I'm going to show you six different techniques. This is one of my favorite exercises. OK, we can go straight forward, which is regular lunge, like everybody does it. Full range, all the way down. Strong push back. Now variation, we go to the side. And extreme side, side lunge. Front, medium, and all the way to the side. Strong push. Now another variation. You go short, medium, long. Short, medium, and very long. Short, medium, long. I'm going to show you this from the side. To get the concept, this is a long lunge, all the way. Back is straight, strong push back. Long, short, medium, long. I would say that uh, besides squats, which I consider king of all the quad exercises, Lunge is the best overall development for quadriceps, hamstring, and glutes. So I highly recommend it. <laughs> Next exercise for quadriceps, Hackenschmidt bench, popular hack squat. Most of the people avoid doing this exercise with the consideration that it's dangerous on the knees. I had a three surgeries on my knees, and I still do it every day. But I'm uh, trying to say it's very safe and very effective if you do it properly. 
So uh, Marcel is going to demonstrate the way we do it. It's Miller Scheidschiff style. You can see that plates are away from each other and there's a reason for that. I like to do descending set with the super slow reps. He's going to go very slow down, controlled move, all the way, five to 10 seconds down. Really, you can start with uh, maybe five seconds and build it up to 10. Step short of locking. Continuous tension all the way down, right on the quads. Complete stretch. And then strong push without really explosion. We can do explosive if it's a strength move, but we are bodybuilders. We like to build size, hypertrophy. We're doing it slowly. Slow up. And after about three, four reps, we can lower the weight. Continue. And we're going to do the sending set. Every three repetitions, we're going to take plate off. Now, this is very, very demanding. I guess it's very hard. But I would encourage you to do on your next leg workout, after squats, try to do this super slow descending set hack squat. OK, he's going to show you a few variations with a different feet position. Like this, all the way in. Patrick the medialis, going all the way down. Super slow, touch medialis, and slow up. He's on the ball of his foot, not on a heel. So go down. Set up, slow up. Now let's go to the wide stance. Now, really, these slow repetitions are so much harder than regular that uh, you can use half of the weight that you would normally do in a hack squat and you accomplish the same result. Super slow controlled, all the way down, complete stretch, and super slow on the way up with every three reps taking a plate off. Keep going. And up. Again, down. To make exercise even harder than this, every two inches stop. With every two inches stop. This is not another variation. Every two inches stop for a second. And uh, as hard as it is on the way down, it's uh, twice as hard on the way up. Slow, slow. Slow. Let's go again. Keep going. Now, as you can see, weight is really not relevant here. It's the way you perform the exercise. Super slow contraction. OK, and then I usually finish with the four to five reps all the way down and just halfway up with a two second pause. All the way down, halfway up. Pause, two seconds. All the way down, super slow up, pause, and another one. Perfect, yeah. This is most effective quadriceps exercise, and whoever has a problem, is a hard gainer and believes that can never build a quadriceps, I promise you, do three sets of these every time you do quads, Within six to seven workouts, you're going to see your legs exploding. Super slow descending set, hex squat, no shot of style. Next exercise is leg press. Pretty much everybody in the world does a leg press, and I'm also a fan of this exercise. I do both single and double leg leg press. I will start with a single leg, as I do think it's a tremendous exercise. It simulates lunging movement. So if you can imagine me doing the lunges, we can pretty much simulate the same move over here. Keeping the foot all the way out, knee following in the same position, going deep, far, complete stretch, and then pushing it straight up. All the way down, all the way up. Because you can see full range of motion. After this point, where quadriceps is most involved, we start hitting a hamstring and glutes all the way down. Now, if you push from the ball of the foot, 
we're going to feel quadriceps taking most of the work. However, if you push from a heel, we're going to feel in the hamstring and glutes. Uh, very, very effective exercise. I also like to do a variation, super slow, just like this, or slow down and explosive up. Slow down, explosive up. Many different variations. I, uh, when I do this, I do left, right, left, right without stopping. As when one leg is working, the other one is resting. So to increase intensity, you don't really need to stop. We just uh, change the legs. I like to do three sets of those and uh, about 10 repetitions each time. Again, super slow controlled, full range of motion, all the way down. Now, if you want a quadriceps, push from the ball of the foot. If you want a hamstring and glutes, we switch and push with a heel. After a single leg, we can do a few more reps with the both legs when we can keep knees out all the way, which simulate medialis, teardrop so-called. And I like to do uh, variations here. I also do 100 reps per set, and I'm doing it in a super fast manner, something like this, as fast as possible, without stopping. Or advanced movement, 10 seconds down, 10 seconds up. Again, fully fully, fully stretched, and now super slow, just contracting. So you really have to use the energy and effort to slow yourself down, which is opposite of what most of the people do. So see here, I have to really contract every fiber on the quadriceps to be able to move the weight. Leg press, very popular exercise, you should do it. So let's get to work. Besides single leg leg press, I do like to do a two-legged leg press. It's one of the exercises that you can really vary speed of the movement. I like to do it super slow, as uh, I demonstrated so far many times, but I also like to do super fast. And uh, in this particular case, I do as high reps as 50 or 100 reps per set. So here we go. Not as normal what I did so far, controlling the weight, super slow manner. I this time try to use the force and do as fast as I can. So that varies tempo and uh, gives a different stimulation of the muscle. So you can do very high reps, 50 or 100. I actually even do 200 reps on this particular exercise with some clients. But you can also do that super slow when we take a 10 seconds to go all the way down, like this, and 10 seconds up. As you can see, it's continuous tension. You never lock your knees, never relax your quads. It's constant tension, and time that muscle is exposed to the tension equals stimulation. Here, and lock. Great exercise, do it. Okay, here we go, a leg extension. That's uh, uh, basically the most isolated exercise for uh, quadriceps. It's really one joint move single joint in the knee. The correct way to uh, call this exercise is really knee extensions, not leg extensions. But it's a great move for a, a warm-up. First thing that we do in a, a leg training at the very end as a finishing movement. So Marcel is going to demonstrate a, a two-leg uh, leg extension, the way we do it. All the way down, complete stretch, and now complete contraction. You see, uh, if you focus on the quadriceps here, at the top he has to contract to hold the weight. And up. Now this is a two leg, and we're gonna do the variation in the fit positions. You're gonna go out, externally rotate. Go all the way out. 
Mm -hmm. And you can see it's hitting more medialis part, teardrop. Out, medialis. Or all the way together, put them together. It's more lateral uh, portion of the quadricep. Also, uh, this is Agassiz, says we can do a single leg, and uh, I prefer really a single legged. Just go ahead. All the way up. Uh, that's my pre contest favorite, really. Uh, when you do want to get this deep separation, you just contract as hard as you can, and that can also bring striation as quadriceps is a very striated muscle. So when we do one leg at a time, we can lower the weight and do the about 10 repetitions on each leg before we would switch. Very good. This is it for a quad segment for a fit show powered by bodybuilding.com in Coliseum Gym. See you next time. Thanks for watching.